Hello from the 11th inning stretch. My name is Paul Epi. Um, my friend Alex Schneider is, uh, had, a, had a very busy schedule today, so uh, he is not joining me. Um, but we still wanted to get this video out, or this video out. so uh, I will be doing the preview for the Dodgers and the Cardinals uh, this weekend when the Cardinals are in Los Angeles. Um, but first, our, a, a wrap-up from the Angels series. Um, like we've been saying, the, the, you know, the Angels aren't really a good team. And the Cardinals beat up on good teams, uh, as as you should. Um, I think this weekend will be a, a little bit more of a test. You know, the Dodgers lead the NL West, uh, not by a lot, but they still do, you know lead the NL West, and they're going to be contending all all season. Um, so it'll it'll be a, a little bit more of a test. Although the lucky for the Cardinals, they don't face uh, Clayton Kershaw. Um, so. Getting into the uh, the previews, the Cardinals do face uh, Ross Stripling, Scott Casimir, and Alex Wood, and uh, the injuries for the Dodgers. Um, there's not any like huge huge injuries to know about. Um, coming into the season, they were really really battered up, um, and I mean their injury list was a solid ten or twelve long. Um, just reading some names off for you, they got uh, coming into the season. Or still hurt. They have uh, Brett, Brett Anderson, Andre Ethier, uh, Scott Van Slag, Brandon McCarthy. Um, none of these players are really close to returning, so they don't have much of an effect on the Cardinals series. Um, as for who's hot for the Dodgers, um, I'd say Justin Turner. I don't have any stats on him, uh, but he's one of the more potent hitters in the lineup, and he's certainly somebody to watch along with you know guys like Adrian Gonzalez and Yasiel Puig and. Seager shortstop, but I, you know, I would say, uh, Justin Turner, their uh, third baseman. As for who's not hot, um, uh, one of their starting pitchers, Scott Kazmir. Um, I watched his start against the Mets this past week and he did not look good and he has not looked good all season from everything I've, I've been reading. Uh, he has a two and three record with a 5.54 ERA and a 1.1.42 whip. Uh, but against the Mets, he uh, he just looked really hittable, and he wasn't really locating much and um, leaving a lot of stuff out over the plate. Um, so there there is the Dodgers. Um, as for the Cardinal side of things, um, the starters are going to be Michael Waka, Carlos Martinez, and Mike Leake. Uh, Injury-wise, um, nothing too important. Um, although they did, the Cardinals did send Tommy uh, Tommy Pham on a double-A rehab assignment as of yesterday, May 12th. Um, so it'll be interesting to see when he comes up, one, who's going to go down, two, is he going to play, uh, and three, how much is he going to play. Um, as for who's hot, uh, the vast majority of the Cardinals lineup right now, you know, against the Angels, they had a, a sort of a slugfest against them. Uh, Matt Holliday and Matt Carpenter are, are, are two big names. Uh, they both had a couple home runs, um, and they're the, they're the hottest hitters in the lineup right now. Um, but as for who's not hot, I would have to go with Seth Seth Manis. Um, I have some stats here. The last seven days, he has an 8.1 ERA, a 1.5 WHIP, and only three innings pitched. Um, last week, and against the Pirates, uh, he had a pretty he had roughed up pretty good. Um, and same thing with the Angels. Um, so yeah, that'll be uh, the preview and for the Dodgers and the wrap up for the Angels. Um, join us again on Monday when the Colorado Rockies come to town. Um, Alex should be back with me then, and also uh, look out for our podcast this weekend. Thanks.